Japanese gods and goddesses. Japanese gods and goddesses are mostly those of the traditional religion of Japan, known as Shinto, the way of the gods, or Kami no Michi. The mythologies of Shinto religion were first written down in the 8th centuries in two documents known as the Kojiki and Nihon Shoki. But gods and goddesses of Japan have also been influenced to a degree by both Indian, Buddhism and Hindu, and Chinese, Buddhism and Confucianism, mythologies. 20th century folklorists Yanagi Takunio and Ariguchi Shinobu collected the folklore of the peasants and common people, that folklore varies from community to community, tends to be flexible, and are rarely recorded. As a contrast, the main Shinto gods and goddesses from the Kojiki and Nihon Shoki are shared by the entire nation, ideas which are written down and reinforce the national myths of the political state. The primordial couple, is Anami and Izanagi, in Shinto mythology, the first gods who arose out of chaos were two genderless or dual-gendered deities, Kunita Kotaki and Amina Minakanoshi, the supreme being who sits alone in a ninefold layer of clouds. Together they created the first couple Izanami and Izanagi and assigned them the task of creating the land and the gods. Is an army, she who invites you to enter, is a primordial goddess and personification of the earth and darkness. Is an Agi is the lord who invites you to enter, and the embodiment of all that is bright and heavenly, ruling the sky. Before giving birth to additional gods, they first bore islands, creating the Japanese archipelago. Their first child was Kagutsuchi or Ingakagatsuchi, the Japanese god of fire, who burned his mother to death when she gave birth to him, a metamorphosis linked to the death of the old year and the birth of the new. In a rage, Izanagi killed Kagatsuchi and went off in search of his wife in the underworld, but like Persephone, Izanami had eaten while in the underworld and could not leave. Izanami became queen of the underworld. When Izanagi returned, he produced three noble children, from his left eye came Amaterasu, the sunny goddess, from his right eye the moon god Tsukiyomi no Mikoto, and from his nose, Suzenoo, the sea god. Sun, moon, and sea Amaterasu, or Amaterasu Amikami, is the Shinto sun goddess and the mythical ancestor of the Japanese imperial family. Her name means shining in the heaven, and her epithet is Amikami, great and exalted divinity. Scholars traced the first version of the solar deity as a male, Amaterasu Kunitaru Hokari, or heaven and earth's shining fire, but by the 5th century, shrines to the goddess Amaterasu were constructed on the Aizaru River. As the sunny goddess, she is the greatest of the Japanese gods, ruler of the plane of heaven. Tsukiyomi no Mikoto is the Shinto moon god and a brother of Amaterasu, born from the right eye of Izanagi. After climbing a celestial ladder, he lived in the heavens as Dakamagahara, the husband of his sister Amaterasu. Suzena, also spelled Susanoo, ruled the oceans and is the Shinto god of rain, thunder, and lightning. He was banished from heaven after a power struggle with his sister turned ugly Susanna went on a rampage, destroying Amaterasu's rice fields and killing one of her attendants. In response to his actions, Amaterasu retreated to a cave, effectively hiding the sun, a situation that was only ameliorated when the goddess Yuzium danced. The banished Susanna became an underworld god associated with snakes and dragons. Other gods and goddesses, Yukimaki, Agetsu no Haim, is a fertility and food goddess, who prepared a feast for Tsukiyomi by facing the ocean and spitting up a fish, facing the forest and vomiting up wild game, and facing a rice paddy and spitting up a bowl of rice. For this, she was killed by Tsukiyomi, but her dead body still produced millet, rice, beans, 
and silkworms? Yuzium, or Amno Yuzium, is the Shinto goddess of joy, happiness, and good health. Yuzium danced to bring the Japanese sun goddess Amaterasu back from her cave, ensuring the return of spring sunshine bringing life and fertility. Ninagi, or Ninagi no Mikoto, was the grandson of Amaterasu, sent to earth to rule over it. He was the great-grandfather of the first emperor of Japan, Emperor Jimu, and thus the progenitor of all the later emperors of Japan. Hodori, the son of Ninigi, first ruler of the Japanese islands, and Konohana, daughter of the mountain god Oyama, and the brother of Hori, was an enchanted fisherman, and the divine ancestor of the immigrants coming from the south over the sea to Japan. Inari is the god of foodstuffs and a shapeshifter, illustrated as a bearded man who carries two bundles of rice. His messenger is the fox and there are always stone or wooden foxes sitting front of Inari shrines. There is also a goddess of rice known as Inara, another shapeshifter. Seven Japanese Shinto gods of good fortune, Shichifu Kyujin. The seven lucky gods reflect input from both Chinese and Indian religions. Benten, Ben Satan, Ben Tenzama, is the Buddhist goddess of eloquence, dance, and music, patron saint of the geishas, often represented wearing a jeweled diadem and holding a stringed instrument. From the Hindu goddess Saraswati, Hotai, or Badai, was a Zen priest and god of diviners and bartenders. He is the friend of the weak and children and depicted with a great bare belly. He is the god of happiness, laughter, and the wisdom of contentment and friendly good cheer. Jurojin is the incarnation of the Southern Pole Star in Japanese Buddhist mythology, the giver of immortality and god of longevity and the elderly. He rides on a deer and is often accompanied by cranes and tortoises as symbols of a long life and happy old age. Fukuriku, a reincarnation of the Taoist god Tuanwu and a Chinese Song Dynasty hermit, is the god of wisdom, luck, longevity, and happiness. In some seven lucky god lists, he is sometimes replaced by Kikijoten, adopted from the Hindu goddess Lakshmi. Bishaman or Bishamantan is the god of fortune in wars and battles, protector of those who follow the rules, from the Hindu god Kibra or Vase Ravana. Daikaku or Daikakutan is the god of commerce and prosperity, patron of crooks, farmers, and bankers. Ebisu is a traditional Japanese lucky god, unrelated to other religions, a fisherman, prosperity and wealth in business, crops and food. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.